This is the unboxing of my new Brown Series 6 shaver. It comes with a uh, self-cleaning station. <clears throat> it does say close sa shave, sensitive on skin, low pressure adaptation, auto sense technology, smart care center, which is a self-cleaning station. It comes with a precision trimmer, you can see there. Uh, power cord, it comes with a pretty nifty zip-up uh, travel case. Um, there's the cleaning solution and there's the cleaning station. So I am going to plug it in and get it charging. I'll let you know how long it needs to charge. And then we'll put it to the test. Okay, I couldn't find in there where it said how long to charge it for, but uh, obviously it does have a meter and it's definitely over half charged, so I can at least try it out. Um, it went from two to three pretty quick, so I imagine it doesn't take very long, but on to the live shave. I guess there is a way to remove the uh, the head and put on the trimmer. Just pops right off. Pretty self-explanatory. So here we go. I did want to note that my hair is extremely long, stubble, and thick. I haven't shaved for a couple days, so. Definitely a good day to test out a good razor. Definitely mowed through my cheek like butter, so, so far so good. Definitely thoroughly impressed with this razor shaver so far. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not a, bag of, a big fan of electric razors. I like to use a uh, uh, handheld razor, but uh, uh, one advantage of the electric razors I like is sometimes I use them, I can just sit in the living room and shave while I'm watching TV or something. Um, but, uh, it's definitely one of the best razors I've used so far. I was just going to check and see how much hair is collecting up here. Getting a little bit, not too bad. And then uh, that's all for the one side of my face. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up. I usually use my uh, other electric uh, shaver to compare, but uh, this shaver's really blown all my other shavers out of the water, so I definitely recommend it. The uh, Bronze Series 6. It comes with a self-cleaning uh, station as well, so 
Um, I won't torture you guys and make you watch me shave my whole face, but uh, man, this this razor really did a top-notch job. I'm a big fan of the uh, foil razors as well. This one's got a lot of flex to it. So I was kind of missing that feeling where I can really push down hard with my other foil shaver that doesn't have the flex, but this one really keeps you from having to bear down on your face and it still gives you a really smooth shave. I'm really impressed, so definitely pass with flying colors. Uh, this shaver's definitely got the throne so far. I'm very surprised and I will definitely be keeping it, so on to the self-cleaning station. All right, now this self-cleaning station is so easy, I'm gonna see if I can do it with uh, one hand while well, I hold the camera. Anyways, I kind of messed up there and got the cord stuck in there. There it is. It uses the same power cord as the shaver to when you first get it, it's locked in place. If you turn it to the side, you see this button pops up. All you do is you pull the tab on here. It's got some really easy instructions to follow. It shows you which direction to put the uh, with the two holes facing towards you. So we're gonna spin it around real quick. Put that bad boy in there. Oh, there's a little slot. If you go down under there, you can see where it lines up. There's no, really only one way that it'll fit anyways. It's pretty foolproof. Set the camera down real quick. There it goes. It slot, uh, slid right into place. Push down on there. I am going to reach around, grab this plug in. I should have waited until my wife got home so that she could hold the camera. All right, get the plug in. All right, set the camera down again. All right, I plugged it into the back there. Another quick thing with the uh, cleaning station here. Um, so as long as the light's blue, there's plenty of fluid. And when it's yellow, it's very low. You need to replace it. And then when it's red, obviously it's empty. All right, this cleaning station can be a little confusing. I already showed the setup, so here we go with the cleaning. What you do is you just slide the razor in like so. Once it's in there, all you do is pop that down. Again, blue means there's plenty of fluid, so. As long as it's making noise, you're good to go. But uh, I'm not a big fan of the uh, brown instructions. But, but uh, pretty much just wait until it, it quits making noise. Uh, I think these self-cleaning stations are great, especially for the foil razors, because one of the main complaints is uh, ingrowing hairs with the foil razors. But I think you get a lot closer shave with them, so you can hear it. it's like a liquidy noise right there. But, uh, like I said, it can be a little confusing. You just have pictures to go by, which you would think would make it way easier, but... There, as soon as it's quiet, it is clean, you can just turn it off. And then that's when you can take the razor and just rinse that... I think it's like cleaning alcohol off, but that will keep your razor extremely clean. So there you go, that's how you use the cleaning station. Bronze Series 6 uh, razor with the uh, self-cleaning station online. <laughs> Even if I don't buy anything on Amazon.com, I still like to go look at the reviews. I think it's the best electric men shaver I've ever used. I'm pretty impressed. I'm surprised. I'm surprised it doesn't have higher ratings already. Here, it, it always starts on top reviews. I always switch over to most recent, and then love it. Won't travel. Won't travel with it. That must be a typo. But it says one star, no return. Mine didn't work. That's not the razor's fault. It's probably shipping or something like that. Five stars. Just doesn't cut the mustard. Uh, short and sweet, I think one review said it cuts like 80 grit. I disagree. It's more like 40 to 60 grit. Also takes forever to shave. I was replacing it from a Phillips 3 head shaver and decided to try this type. Probably will go back to that style. Um, that's definitely a bad review because it's a great shaver. My husband do not like, so, but I think is good. I am so sorry about that. They don't speak English very good. My husband said shave little. Large base requires disposable cartridges. Uh, that doesn't have anything to do with the shaving performance. Great razor. After two years, will not charge anymore. Problem to start six months ago. Well, two years is a pretty long time, so. 
I had a $30 eraser from Brown, which performed much better than this. I upgraded and now disappointed. Oh. You have to be careful with the reviews as well. But oh, great shave, five, five, five. Very satisfied. Works well, but there are flaws. Seems to last a long time when I full charge. Uh, oh, need to change the head to use it as a trimmer, which is a total and unwelcome departure from the previous four. Um, I could see where that would be a disadvantage. I don't really have to use the trimmer a lot. Very enjoyable shaver, average. Locked in and don't tilt. Um, I don't get the purpose of that. It can only tilt one way, really because you have to stay straight across with the foil shaver. Best razor I've ever bought. Good. Five, five, mostly fives. Good shaver, horrible user manual. There we go. Yeah, I can't stand the uh, pictures that Brown uses, but uh, that's what videos like mine are for. Anyways, I've tried out a lot of razors and this is probably the best one I've used so far, but I am a fan of foil shavers, so I am a little biased. But, as long as you have the self-cleaning station, you're not going to get ingrown hairs as long as you keep your shaver really clean. So, if you want a comfortable men's electric shaver, and this one comes with the travel case as well, yada yada, this is definitely it.